Hey friends, so I was recently in Walmart the other day picking up some items for the home and I came across these Crayola Colors of the World colored pencils. Now I remember them coming out a couple of years ago, but for whatever reason, I did not grab a set at that time. But while I was in Walmart, I went on ahead and picked up a set so that we could swatch them out and see if they truly reflect the skin tones from around the world. If you're interested in seeing the varying shades, stay tuned. Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. All right, so I have gone ahead and created a little grid in my sketchbook to serve as my swatch sheet, and I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and see all that they have here. Now, at first glance, I see that they're all sharpened, which is a good thing because my sharpener is trash. <laughs> you think I would grab one, right? Anyways, let me see if I have something I can put these in. All right, so put these over here in this little tray. Let's go ahead and pull these babies out. And as we use them, then we'll go ahead and move them off to the side. Now let's just take a look at the colors that they show on the box. We've got browns and dusty pinks. Um, like, it looks like a grayish pink. Let's see what it says. Crayola Colors of the World color pencils contain 24 specially formulated colors that represent people from all around the world. Now it's even easier for kids to color themselves your families and friends from all over the globe. I think that's a wonderful, truly wonderful um, concept and product that they've created. Um, obviously, we've all been using Crayola virtually all of our lives, at least since we were kids. And um, I guess after 30, 40, 40 years, they realized that there was something missing from their collections. And so um, I guess there's no better time like the present to create something that everyone has been asking for. So let's take a look and see. My eyes are not that good. So it does have the colors on it. Let me get a darker color so you can see. So we have here, it says extra deep almond. Obviously has a stamping on it, but hopefully you guys can see that. My eyes are not the best. There you go. So they all have that. And I'm going to leave a little something at the top. Um, I guess I do have to write it as I go along. So one moment. All right, we've got that there. And I don't think that's even the darkest, is it? It's not, of course. You can tell I am not one of those girls that knows the full range of colors so technically we go something like this oh they've got some nice brown shades let's see if any of them match me thus far it's like the reddish brown one would match my skin tone okay so we're not gonna we're not gonna do these in any particular order we are not one, because they don't actually go down in shades. They go down in darkness. Um, so you've got some red browns, and then you've got some brown browns. And then, so, which is good because there are so many different shades of brown, especially in my family. Okay, let me get back to the one that I started with, and then I'll tell you as I go along. We don't want this to be too lengthy. That's extra deep rose. That is not the one that I started with. Here we go. Extra deep almond. All right. So I am going to 
to shade a little bit and then create a little bit of layering towards the, the center just to see how deep we can get it, how dark we can get it. I don't want to press down too deep. You just want to layer the color. Okay, so you can get that pretty dark and good shading. All right, so that's that. Right. So that is it. I'm gonna pan scan this, pan this if you will. 
so you guys can see it a little bit closer. And then, maybe I'll do a little drawing or something. Not a drawing, coloring a, a sketch or a person. <laughs> All right. All right, it's been a long time coming, but Crayola has created a line of crayons, markers, and colored pencils that truly do help us represent ourselves and our community in our creations. That being said, until we're back here together on Patreon and YouTube, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafting. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.